morning, friends. Another gloomy day. <laughs> Hi, friends. Welcome back to At Home with Cindy. I hope you guys are doing well today <laughs> on this gloomy day. I think about almost half the country is gloomy <laughs> today. Um, so I want to come on here today and share with you how I make my rose water uh, spray. I, in the summertime, I really enjoy doing this. I make it and I put it in the refrigerator um, and I just spray on every morning or in the afternoon and it's just so refreshing and I think it's pretty good for your skin. Um, and so I just wanted to show you how I do it. Come on along. Sorry about the lighting. It's really pretty gloomy today. Uh, so I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> So basically what I said was, if you don't have roses growing in your garden, which I do, but they're not doing so well, which I would normally take from my garden, but I also, I don't get that much, so I also blend it with this, but not this here. It's just this. So here, I thought I had this recording. I have these um, rose petals that are, you know, chopped. They're not full rose petals. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to actually buy this bag again. Uh, <laughs> um, the color comes out of these roses instant, like within five minutes. So I don't really know if it's legitimate, but I do use them and I'm going to use it up until I have no more left because I don't like to waste. So what I did was I rinsed, I rinsed my rose petals in here, I put them in my pot, and then I covered it with the um, filtered water from my sink. I have this um, APEC filter, I think it's called, um, and I just put them in there, and I just pushed the leaves down so they're in the water. And I'm just going to keep it on low, and I'm going to let this go for 20 to 30 minutes. Just very low, on low. With, it's like on two. I'm going to let it go for 20 to 30 minutes. And the problem with these roses is, I don't know if they're real. I don't, I don't know, because usually the color comes out of these within minutes. So, anyway, like I said, I'm going to use up the bag anyway. But, so anyway, I let this go 20 to 30 minutes. And um, the color comes out of all the roses, and then I'll show you what I do next. Uh, I just want to see if you can tell, but it's been about four minutes. I'm not sure if you can see from there. Let's see if I can. Okay. Uh, you can't really tell, but it's been four minutes, and the color is basically at least 75% gone. That's why I'm going to buy this again. Because <laughs> I've had roses that could take up to 40 minutes without losing their color. So I don't know if this is colored. It's probably colored. <laughs> but, so, but anyway, I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I'm going to use this up and I won't buy it again, unfortunately. So, but anyway, if you, have, if you get yourself some roses, make sure they are legit. Either from your yard or... It, and if you, you really can't go out and buy a bouquet of flowers because this pesticide on it and you're going to boil it, I mean, I'm sorry, sit it on the stove and rinse it and it's still going to be pesticide in it. So, I mean, the organic one does have a little bit of pesticide, but nothing compared to, to the store that you bought, you know, a bouquet that you buy. So that's why I get organic. But, um... Yeah, this is definitely not a, I'm just so disappointed. I feel like I have been had because it's like, ugh, it's all out, but it's okay. But I'm still going to let this go for at least another 10 minutes. And then we're going to move it to the back of the stove and let it cool. So, and I'll show you the next step. Sorry, I'm a little chatty Kathy today. <laughs> okay, it's time, but... <laughs> I have this on, now I turned it down from two to low, and it's like boiling away. This stove is just so cuckoo. Uh, that's hot, so let me. 
that was about 12 minutes and it looks like it still has color but it's the water that has color so i'm going to move it back here let it cool for about a half an hour or so and then we're just going to strain it into here and i'll put that in the fridge uh refrigerator when it's nice and cool and i hope you try this because i tell you what it's it's so refreshing especially on a summer day so refreshing and um it's good if your skin it tones your skin which i think so <laughs> i'm not a beauty buff so <laughs> i'm very all natural <laughs> so anyway uh if you like this give it a try because uh it's you know makes you feel good <laughs> i'll see you soon if you like this video please give it a thumbs up take care